Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna review new nameless gunner Jake Awaken and Ladan abilities. So he becomes a really good finisher, okay? Like you can see here, if you awaken all his Awaken and Ladan, he can get 200% attack boost, which is on par with Regina. Okay, it is even better than most attackers on this game because they usually only get 160% attack. So yeah, 200% is really high. And for survivability, Nameless Gunner Jack is really good, especially compared to Regina, okay? He has 60% health boost instead of 20%. He also get 30% defense and spirit. And the most important thing is Nameless Gunner Jack has 100% fatal damage protection when his health is above 30%. For an attacker, this is really important because sometimes the enemy use powerful AoE attack and they die and all your set up is gone, okay, or gone. So that fatal damage protection is really nice for him. Another good thing about Nameless Gunner Jack is he has 250% to double hand. Okay, so you only need 50% more to reach the maximum. So maybe he is the best in the global right now in terms of passive through double hand. Because from what I remember, yes, Esther, Esther has 250% fake double hand, okay? Esther only has 150% true double hand. So really guys, Jake is good. You only need to have 50% more to max this. So you can equip him with Swift Hunter or something like that. Because you want to equip his accessory slot with Storm Kickers to increase his LB damage. Okay, talking about LB damage, he has amazing plus 135% LB damage boost. Okay, so that's insane. And maybe you say, oh, that means he, he is better than Regina. Yes, in terms of increased LB damage passive, but maybe you will see later that it won't matter that much. So on innate state, Nameless Gunner Jake, deal. 56.4 times using his LB and Regina only 32 times but remember Regina get 120% buff when she uses Regina cannon so I will talk mo more about that you know, on ability section okay and for killer I must say nameless gunner Jake is better because he has 100% stone and machine Okay, two killers instead of one. Regina only have one 75% fairy, fairy killer. So yeah, Jake is really good when you fight those type of enemies. But remember guys, you need to awaken that gun mastery and his Latin ability. Yeah, luckily he only has one stats awakening so it won't be that expensive. So enough about stats, pretty good but what? But what about abilities? Let's take a look on that. So, Jake abilities awakening is kind of not kind of but very good, okay? But one thing that you must prioritize is his Latin ability. Without his Latin ability, he is kind of bad, okay? Because yeah, you make him into true double hand attacker after his awakening, not true dual wield, okay? So you really need this dual cast. This is really important because maxing this will allow you to double cast most of your important abilities, okay? Electro is sold and all of his cooldown abilities. So your priority, make sure you use this, okay? Awaken this, I mean. Be because if you make him into true dual wielder, he is kind of mediocre. Maybe the best true dual wield finisher is Baldir. Okay, but I'm not sure. Okay, so let's talk about his abilities awakening. One good thing, I mean, yeah, the best part about him is he able to imbue and imperil elements. It is something Regina cannot do. So he able to imbue fire, ice, lightning, and light. So four elements. Which is insane guys because that's that means half elements on this game. So he is really flexible and especially because he is a true double hand character. So most of the weapon are non-elemental. So this imbue like 
ability are really useful. And also remember, Regina cannot imperil enemies' elemental resist by herself. So he, I mean, she really rely on other characters, not like Jake, okay? Because Jake able to imperil 90%. So yes, it is not 100%, but only 10%. Only yeah, only 10% difference. So I can say this is still top tier in peril. Okay, very useful. And another big upgrade is this will increase your LB gauge by 20 LB crystals. So Jack's LB need 40 LB crystals to be cast. So that means with dual cast, you can see you only need to use this twice, and you are ready to unleash your LB again. Really good setup, okay. But remember, he also has a cooldown ability. So try to combine this elemental imbue and imperil with his other abilities, okay. So for uh, for cooldown, he has this wild style. This is good because that means he can deal two hundred fifty percent extra damage against. Mechanical and stone monster and that's really insane guys 250% Whoa, and another good thing is his killer assault. This is also awakenable Okay, this become 250% attack buff. So it is really good and you Use I think you should use this if you are if you don't fight the enemy I mean mechanic or stone enemies. Okay, so use that 250% buff and then this force boost that mean on the next turn you gonna be able to use your lp okay so yeah basically combine this with your with one of your assault okay but i know awaken four abilities is kind of underwhelming so simply choose one element at for now okay after you have gathered more resources then yeah you can upgrade the rest but really guys max this first i mean max one element first because you want to get this 20 lb okay to guarantee you able to use his lb every two turns okay so yeah your priority is gun mastery one elemental assault and then killer assault okay but remember these latent abilities are what makes him good so don't forget that now talking about damage comparison guys so jake's lp deal less damage compared to regina i mean the best damage okay so regina here deal 32 times and jake deal 24 times that's the cost jake's LB still deal inferior damage even when he has high innate LB boost, okay? So, assuming, so I assume you have hard of overcoming hatred, so that's a really easy Trustmaster to get, okay? You can get 50% extra LB damage from that trust, uh, ability, and if you have two Aster, I assume you have two storm kickers, so that means you get another 80% LP damage. That means Jake can deal, yeah, Jake has 250% LP damage, so he gonna deal about 73 74 times damage. But Regina, with those equipments, and after using Regina cannon, she will deal 106 times damage. So yes, I must say Jake is amazing, but like you can see, in terms of raw damage, Regina is still the winner. But remember, Regina's LP is not a finisher because like you can see here, 23 hits, while Jack is 1 hit. So I really cannot calculate the damage, but assuming you don't have Regina partner then maybe okay maybe nameless gunner Jake gonna deal more damage because you will get you will multiply the that damage okay 74 times times 3 if you able to 
place it on the end of your chain and it is really easy guys okay only one hit the animation is kind of long so basically learn to time your attack but Regina you really need a dupe character to be able to max her LP let's say if you use absolute mirror of equity chainer or whatever then Regina's LB gonna break your chain or whatever or miss your damage which make it deal slower damage okay so maybe not that powerful as it seems okay that's Regina's weakness okay so yeah nameless gunner jig is really good but what about the party formation I think the best partner for him is uh, summer characters okay summer Voltra and Citra, Summer, Fina and Lit because they able to give your party a real ray chaining move. So you what you only what you want from those is the elemental chain. So your LB gonna deal maximum damage easily. And Maritime Strategist Nicole is also a good partner because he has flood. Okay, dual cast flood. So basically you can make anyone into a chainer. If you equip them with Leviathan, Leviathan has Violent Current. So after doing his buff on the first turn, on the second turn when Nameless Gunner Jack LB is ready, you can chain your Flood with Violent Current and use and finish using Jack's LB. Okay, so I think that's all you need to know about Jack. Really awesome character. Okay, but kind of expensive, but totally powerful when you fight uh, machine and stone enemies okay so yeah thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy for videos guys bye bye guys